F thirty five updates today, and uh, Bubba, we, uh, uh, we, we you know this has been a very disturbing story to me. Well, yeah, that is, we Bubba. can lose yeah. this kind of airplane, uh, Bubba. We have what we've all been waiting on, and that, of course, is an eyewitness. No, oh, oh my goodness, uh, I, I can't. Do we think this guy was really an eyewitness, <laughs> or well, you decide. He thinks he is. Mm-hmm. WSAV on all your right. on, let's, on let's, your side. Let's just say this: he thinks he was an eyewitness. Yeah. Okay, so maybe he Playing was, maybe up. he was. This is in uh, rural uh, South I had a Carolina. To talk to a man who lives out here. He told me he actually heard the plane as it was oh, flying boy. past Bubba, his house and crashing this. nearby, but he didn't know what it was. I'm almost October the sixth. I'll, I'll be seventy-two years old. Randolph White retired from his job at the paper mill in Georgetown 10 years ago. <laughs> he lives in this house with his wife in a very rural area of Williamsburg County. Well, it's nice and quiet and peaceful. And I don't, I, I don't have to worry about people that, you know, close up tight. You know, I like space. He loves living about two miles away from where he grew like up. Space. Space. Normally space. it's pretty quiet, but on Sunday afternoon. I was in the, uh, in the bathroom taking a shave. Oh, oh my God. And I heard oh. a, a screeching. <laughs> Between a screech and a whistle. Oh. I said, what in the world is this? And I heard a boom in my whole house. Shook. White says he didn't realize it was a plane at the time, so he didn't call anybody. First thought came to me. I said, well, must what, is a meteorite coming out of space or something? Meteorite out of space. Yeah. And I said, well, if the airplane, it needed to be reported. Look, the thing was flying just too low. So yesterday evening, I said, the helicopters, I was out there walking. Choppers keep flying around. I said, well, something must, like somebody must have robbed a bank or killed some people or whatever. So I walked up there. He told me it was about, about the plane. The F-35B <laughs> airplane wreckage created an extensive debris field. The wreckage is located off shave. Old Georgetown <laughs> Road. Excellent. Military security is very tight with numerous red and white signs on the side of the road that read, no trespassing. This area has been designated a national defense area. Wow. Shot through the grace of God, nobody didn't get hurt. Because the church right up there, about a half mile. About a mile of old Georgetown Road will be closed for an unknown period of time. Anything man made can malfunction. You know, so you try to give him the benefit of the doubt. But it, it needs to be investigated, and the public needs to know what really happened. You know, it, it, it shouldn't be kept a secret what happened. Tell it. Because, you know, it could have been a major disaster. That was a major, major remember, too, disaster. The, the, so many, so many the, first, the first signs we had of it, the first pictures that I saw, was on TikTok. Yeah. Owned by the Chinese. All right, first of all, what does he have on? What is this yeah, vest sure he has on? What, what, what is, what's its function? Uh, right. Okay. I love the straw hat. I, I dig the hat. I love the hat. I love his energy. Oh, when yeah. he said I was in the bathroom taking a shave, yeah. Yeah. That, thought, was, oh, that, that, that and him, him giving us the sound mm. of the plane was my two highlights. You know, and um, that, that the, I, I, I love, I love an eyewitness as much as I love anything we ever do. <laughs> I You're just, talking about the genuine article. Craig, I love an eyewitness. <laughs> I just love it. Well, here's John Kirby talking about it, uh, and we have that oh. as well. All right, so here, here's John Kirby on the F-35 and, and whatever happened there. All right, here's John Kirby. Who knows? I was in the bathroom uh, <laughs> taking a shave, and I heard a, a screeching. How'd it go? So I, between a screech and a whistle. <laughs> So I thought that was a great uh, quote from John Kirby there. Uh, Sorry, I didn't have it ready to go. Pentagon spokesperson. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh, so good. He, I'll be honest with you. He gave us more information than Kirby. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Let's see if Kirby he believes the sound. Yeah. Let me ask you about the F-35. How does the U.S. military lose a $100 million plane? That will be something that they will investigate. Uh, believe me, after every aviation mishap, the Pentagon does what the Pentagon does. They'll investigate it to try to get the answers on what happened. Um, and uh, they'll also, I'm sure, look at their own search and recovery efforts of the aircraft itself to see um, mm-hmm. whether that was conducted uh, in, uh, uh, in all the appropriate ways. They'll, they'll, they'll investigate this. And as the Defense Department always does, they'll be transparent about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure, sure. Oh, yeah. so funny. Oh, wait. Yeah. Hey, let me ask y'all this: Have y'all have y'all to this day seen the wreckage of any of the balloons from China that we shot? No, out? I know. You remember oh, the one in Canada, oh, yeah. well, the one in South Carolina. I know more about the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> 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 Big Lake, they call Gitchigumi. 
I was in my house taking a shave. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, I heard. <laughs> I retired from the baby mill because I like a little space. <laughs> I was Ten years ago. <laughs> Not sure what that had to do with it. When F 35 became falling. <laughs> I was out on a walk. There were choppers in the air. <laughs> John Kirby. Well, the Defense Department, they'll be transparent like, as always. Always. Okay. like oh, always. Like always. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. Good oh, night. Oh, he did add these comments to uh, that <laughs> MSNBC <laughs> interview. Okay, here we go. I was in the, um, <laughs> in the bathroom taking a shave, and I heard a, a screeching, sort of between a screech and a whistle. What did it sound like? <laughs> I said, what in the world is this? <laughs> that guy is awesome. That guy is awesome. Yes, I wish he was here. Can we get that in bank? I wish he was I yeah. wish he was in here right now. If y'all now. got in the budget, uh, that's going to South Carolina. So. Uh, I, I just I, I want to go have problem. lunch with him. I, yeah. I mean, I want to I want to go down and see the church about half a mile down the no, road. Yeah, that's been a disaster, Rick. Right? Uh, <laughs> 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 he doesn't like to be around folks. Yeah. He just like yeah. to yeah. be like space. Got a nice setup out there. Nice yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Got some yeah. space. He's yeah. one of those I'd like to go knock on the door and ask about his life. Looks like he's keeping himself active. You think he can't tell a story? Oh, oh my goodness. Well, great. We just heard it. We did. So, uh, There's a lot of those, I bet. Uh-huh. I, I got an email here kind of interesting because of our speculation oh. about the F-35. <laughs> Won't give his name, but he said, I was a plane captain and a mechanic mm-hmm. on F-18s for the Marine Corps. Um, familiar with the F-35 program. He said, there is no way they lost control and contact to that airplane. No, no way. He said, this whole thing is a cover-up or something for something else. Does he say there's something rotten in Denmark? Yep, he is. Something's rotten in Denmark. Something rotten in South Carolina. Here we go, Lynn. <laughs> Zelensky. It smells to high heavens. <laughs> Zelensky and the stink just... is coming from the Carolinas. <laughs> and Zelensky's got himself a new jet now. <laughs> yeah, he was that. in New York, by the way. Yes, he was. <laughs> Babylon B with a good one. Zelensky sadly lost one of his jets. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.